Evening all and welcome to Night Prayer. I hope you're okay. I hope you have had a really good day. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Caroline and I'm the vicar here at St Peter's. This evening we come together to lift before God our cares, our concerns, our joys and our sorrows at the end of another day. So let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And God indeed is with us now. So let's reflect on the day just past. Let's remember the places we've been, the people we've seen, the things we've done and the things we wish we had have done. And in all of that, let's think about where God has been speaking to us, moving in our lives and nudging us. And together let's confess. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. As light gives way to darkness and the busyness of day concedes to night's stillness, as conscious thought surrenders to dreams and our bodies long for rest, we pause to listen. For the beat of your presence in all things, pulsing in the light of distant galaxies, sounding in the depths of our souls, vibrate, vibrating in each vein of Earth's body, one sound as vast as the universe one universe filled with presence, one life within every life. In the darkness of night, in the stillness that surrounds us, in the unknown depths of our being, we pause to listen. Some verses from Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. This evening's reading is taken from Mark's Gospel, chapter 7, verses 14 to 23. 
Then Jesus called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that, by going in, can defile. But the things that are come at, that come out are what defile. When he had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, Then do you also fail to understand? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from the outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach and goes out into the sewer? Thus he declared all foods clean. And Jesus said, It is what comes out of a person that defiles, for it is, for it is from within from the human heart, that evil intentions come, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride and folly. All these things come from within and they defile a person. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So in the stillness of night, we lift before God our cares and our concerns. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you that you've given us a heart with which to praise you, hands with which to serve you, feet with which we can walk your way, eyes to see others as you do. Thank you for the privilege of being able uh, to continue your work on earth. Help us not to lose sight of our call to be like you, to seek justice, to bring good news to the poor, to share your good news, your forgiveness, your hope, your peace with others. As we reflect those words from Mark, we pray, Lord, that you will Help us to um, give glory and honour to you in all that we do. As we think of those things within us which are not of you, help us, Lord, um, to use our gifts and talents and abilities and resources 
to your glory. As we think about that which comes out of us, we think of the ways that we can use our speech to build others up. But we also think, Lord, of those times when which, when our words and our deeds can hurt others. We pray especially for um, social media, for the press, for um, news outlets. We pray, Lord, that um, they may use their power and their responsibility well. We pray that um, we may not use the media to spin or to promote unjust agendas. Help us to see beyond beyond um, spin and falsehood. We pray, Lord, that as your people, we may be attentive always to the needs of others. And help us to see beyond labels that are put on other people. Labels which divide, labels which um, prevent us from greeting others on, as equals. And as we think of the media and those who are employed within it, we also think of ourselves in the ways that we use our own speech and our own social media presence that we may use it wisely and well. Help us as Christians be unafraid of being a voice that speaks out against injustice. But help us to do that wisely. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Loving God, we hold before you your world. And at this time when our vision and our perception seem so narrow and there are so many concerns close by to um, preoccupy us, Lord, help us to not forget the needs of others, our brothers and sisters who are across the world, the injustices they experience, uh, the war, famine and oppression. We pray that as the world goes through the COVID um, COVID, um, pandemic, Lord, we pray for a fair distribution of um, the vaccines. We pray that um, help will be given where necessary to that. We pray for uh, the governments of other countries that they may use their um, power and authority um, well to those that they serve. At this time, we also pray for the United States um, as um, former President Trump's um, trial begins and we pray to that nation um, as it uh, uh, grows accustomed to a new government we pray Lord that you will um, grant it peace and unity together we pray that um, as a country with so much power that it may use its influence on the world stage to care, to build up, to build bridges. We pray for President Biden and um, Vice President Harris and all who surround them. We pray that you will give them wisdom and humility in all that they do.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We hold before you our nation today. Um, we pray for the effort to contain coronavirus. We pray for our NHS. And we especially pray for those who are working within um, vaccination centres and also test centres too. We pray that you'll protect them, but also enable them help to have the right resources. We pray for a fair distribution of the vaccine to those who need it most and for protection until that second vaccine is given. For our own government, we pray that you will surround it with wisdom and humility in all of the decisions they make. And as a nation, may we be united. May we resist temptations to fall into stereotypes or uh, labelling others. May we, Lord, love our neighbours as we love ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we think of our needs closer to home, we hold before you all those in our community who are um, keeping our essential services going. We pray for uh, Kingsmill Hospital, for doctor's surgeries um, and other um, medical places. We pray for care homes and for carers out in the community too. We pray for our supermarkets, for our council workers, for other shops and businesses that keep us going, for our schools, for our therapists. Also at this time, we pray for all those who are working within the funeral industry, who are so busy and snowed under at this time. Let's pray that you will give them the stamina that they need and that in all of their, um, their work that you'll just give them um, grace and wisdom, sense of humour, but also the love in their hearts to care for those in need. We also pray for the, today for those for whom this night is a night of um, anguish and anxiety. We pray for those who are awaiting news. News of um, test results. News of the fate of a loved one. Waiting news to uh, see where their job uh, situation is and all those who are uncertain what tomorrow will bring Lord in that um, patient waiting give them strength and trust in you Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring before you those that we know who are ill, 
or struggling in, in all sorts of ways at this time. And we pray for healing and for wholeness for them. We especially pray for Joanne, Pam and Derek, Rob, Ian and Katrina, Cynthia and John, Kate, Yonat, Kevin, Louis, Vicky, Peter, Shirley, Steve, Graham, Bev, Anne, Max, Barbara, John, and Anne. You alone, Lord, know the real needs of these people. These are your precious children. And in all they go through, Lord, um, may you bring them comfort through the knowledge of your love. We pray that you'll pour out your healing upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. At this time, Lord, we are so conscious of numbers of people who have left this world and passed into your nearer presence. So many people, so much heartbreak, so much grief. But beyond the numbers, Lord, help us to not lose sight of these precious people who brought uh, so much to their family. And as we prepare to say goodbye to them, uh, we just trust in your goodness that you will receive them with joy and offer them new life within your care. And we especially remember before you Marion, Carol, Joan, Shirley, John, Muriel, Harold, Tony, Mabel, Mardi, Robert, Mary, Rosemary, Elizabeth, and George. And we pray for all those who are grieving this night. We pray for those awaiting funerals, especially Kathleen and her family and Marissa and her family. But on all those who grieve, Lord, just we just pray for your light in their darkness. And as they prepare to say goodbye um, at services which perhaps don't look quite as they may have always imagined them to have looked, we pray that despite that, they may be able to um, make a fitting end and a peaceful um, a peaceful time to place their loved ones in your care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Oh, 
O oh Lord, as we prepare to sleep this night, we pray that in the darkness we will know your still small voice, the peace of your presence, that through this night you will give us strength for tomorrow. In your holy name we pray. Visit our homes, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from them the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Good night.